Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to next Industry 5.0 keynote speech. This time it will be dedicated to cement industry and the construction industry. My name is Mike Rada. I'm human. And I'm the founder of Industry 5.0. Before we start, let me ask you two questions. The first is who we are, because we have many titles. We are managers, presidents, chairmen. We are students, producers, workers, teachers, fathers and mothers, and with every single one, we forgot the most important title that we have. And this is human. Living ones, not like this man on County Art of Pills and Bravery. And if we do realize who we are, let me ask you the second question. Where do we live? Because we live in beautiful cities like Roublet, like Pilsen, and this is the building I'm speaking to you from, like Paris. We live in beautiful cities like Brussels, which we filled with trash. We work in factories which produce in one day more waste than a city in a month. We produce products which frequently become waste before reaching the end user and we store them in big metal houses filled with air, calling for more big metal houses to be built. And at the end of the shift, we go home next to the output of our production and we arrive there and maybe we realize that something what was called food before is called bio waste today. And we look at the red sky above our head asking ourselves where do we live? I will answer this question and much more. But before I do so, let me tell you what is Industry 5.0. Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever led by man, by human. It's built on the principles of, of systematic waste prevention and it restores the broken connection between nature and human-made ecosystem. And it recognizes five types of waste, physical, social, urban, process, and the wasting of time. All of these wastes can be prevented, and this is exactly what Industry 5.0 principles do for 11 years already. But we are here to speak about the cement and construction industries. So let's concentrate on the cement industry. The first cement was here already 12 million years ago, according to scientists. And it counts to one of the main producers of carbon emissions, so as greenhouse gases. According to some information, 8% of the greenhouse gases came thanks to the uh, cement industry. It is the one main consumption place of many waste products like slug or dust. It's one of the products with the lowest reuse ratio. It's one of the most dustiest products, productions as well. And it is one of the most high, highest water consumption linked products. And at the same time, it seems to be the product with a very high growing obsolence rate in a near future. And at the same time, it is interesting, it is one of the critical components for the construction industries. At least it was. I'm sure I do not need to introduce this image to you as experts. We have made in the past, we have made very big mistakes. We thought that pyramids has been built for li the living ones not understanding that we store just dead corpses inside. And this is why we try to build up our future of a top of a pyramid. And there is one more interesting thing about pyramids. There is no cement and still they are here for a few thousand years, some of them. 
but because I realized that we cannot build a future on the top of a pyramid, I start to build another ground stone, a ground stone which will be much more stable, a ground stone which even if the ground shake will remain the same. And I call it 6R. And how does it work? Firstly, you have to recognize that something must not become waste. And trust me, that's not an easy task. Then you reconsider what to do with. And it's even harder. And you will probably fail for the first, second, third time. But then when you succeed, you will start to change the world. You may ask why I show you small item made of aluminium. Why not something bigger? Okay. So let's look how does 6R work in a power industry, power distribution industry. You know, we have in every country, there is a lot of so-called electric towers. Have you ever realized that they have only one function to carry the wires from A to B? And do you know that there exists something which is called vertical wind turbine? I do because I work in Industry 5.0 environment where we look at the on the ground mines. So why not to put them together? Just to tell you, if you put in one every 100th power tower, one kilowatt, horizontal wind turbine and therefore it's much more because it's quite small device you can generate globally more power than 26 uh, atom power station nuclear power station sorry we call it atom in check nuclear power stations but for price of one Many people fear and industry fear the growth, but why? The growth is not a scarcity or a shortage. In fact, it respects the planetary limits and it is it does not reduce the profitability for all who understand what the growth means. The growth does reduce the negative environmental impacts and fixes the broken social economic systems. But by reducing the economical gaps and helping to line up humans and nature. The growth is contributing to personal development so as to the development on, on a social level, so as industrial level. It is important to say what, how was the Industry 5.0 Global Roadmap to understand what we are speaking here about. Industry 5.0 was launched on December 1st, 2015. In 2020, it was named the industrial trend of a decade. One year later, two years later, sorry, it was called the industrial trend of a century on a global scale. In 2023, first six governments named it crucial for industrial country development. One more already joined in 2027. Uh, in 2024, sorry. In 2024, start the first trials with companies who pretend to be Industry 5.0 related, but in fact, they use it just as a buzzword, misleading the audience. Till the end of 2024, the original understanding of the term Industry 5.0 will be coined. And it it will take just one year until most of the countries in the world and governments will include Industry 5.0 in a national strategy. You may ask how 6R can be implemented in the cement and construction industry. So, for example, why not to go from cement to cement means customization. Why not to look at from dust till down mean de dusting production? Not only for the production, but for the product itself. What about to talk about the secondary utilization to utilize the not activated cement in a way of recovery? What about reproposing 
using the new applications. And what about new technology using cement like 3D printing or textile shaping, which you may never heard of? What about new markets from global to local? And a new production method using LC3, limestone calcinated clay methodology. And reducing volumes of CMS by using the alternatives. You know, every one of you know fly ash, slag cement, silica fume. But do you know that all three will strongly reduce if the other industries will change? Please keep this in mind. What about Industry 5.0 in 2023 for you to make a better image? So the global investment in project in which Industry 5.0 was named was 5 billion US dollars. The latest at the end of uh, 2023 was 675 million in France. The highest was 1.55 billion in Canada. Companies which aim Industry 5.0 are Jaguar, Land Rover, Airbus, Bosch, Nvidia, Schneider Electric, Trinetsky, Shelzarny, Nokia, Prismint, many more. And the governments who recognize Industry 5.0 already was Argentina, Indonesia, India, Nigeria, Greece and the European Union. Industry 5.0 zones has already been established in China, France and United Kingdom. And there are more than 500 universities in which students learn already or know about Industry 5.0 principles. It is important to understand that to implement it, I have spent eight years to write a single page document document which was never written before. It's the waste prevention framework. And here, how does it work? Nothing that can be used or utilized again must become waste. Everything must be considered primary as a pre-waste existing resource and remain in the system. The secondary use or utilization of is not limited to the primary function of a product or material and can be executed by everyone respecting regulations and safety conditions. Collecting, sorting, bailing and trade are not being considered anymore uh, secondary utilization. And if not utilized on the primary location, it must be offered to others before being wasted. And dear ladies and gentlemen, please understand one. There is no waste if we do not waste. And trust me or not, you can check yourself. But not a single legislation in a, in a work defines how waste is being created. So it must be part of this definition. Because wasting is a process in which a product or material of any kind, form, and volume become waste. In fact, wasting is a system failure and must be prevented first without any limitation or legal restriction. And please understand, wasting is not a feature of a product or material, but the result of human behavior. And single use is one of the most common forms of wasting. You may already see in this quotation, it is the world most famous formula introduced by Albert Einstein in 1905. It is called the relativity formula. And maybe it will surprise you that in Industry 5.0, we give it a new meaning. E is economy. And it's driven by money times corruption square. This is why we are living in a waste age. And what is the Industry 5.0 impact? The production volumes will decrease, and I am speaking here about this, the cement and construction industry, but the profitability will increase. The cement industry will break the silos and will open to others. Construction industry will aim reconstruction primary, not new construction. New clean heating technology will be introduced for the production of cement. 
cogeneration processes will be applied and the cement factories may work as a power stations. There will be a levelized the production and consumption and strongly reduce the environmental impact because of the cross-industry cooperation. Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever led by man, by human. It is the new mindset of people and businesses from wasteful to wasteless. It's based on the principles of systematic waste prevention and it delivers results without the need of capital investment. It utilizes the existing on rich underground mines and please understand one. It is based on transparency, profit sharing and efficiency and it is not a sales tool or a buzzword or a product. The ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the age when our children has to switch their education from one day to another to virtual. Our work was closed due to same issues. And our leisure time was virtualized long time ago. So it looks like the only thing which needs to be digitalized is human himself. But if we do so, our world will look like this. And that's not a mistake because data don't need any light. I recognize this danger 10, 11 years ago. And I decided I do not want to live on a bottom of a black hole. And I decided to build wasteless war instead. And this is my home. And don't worry, I'm not alone. My name is Michael Rada. I'm human. And together with me, 118 Industry 5.0 ambassadors represents already Industry 5.0 principles in 118 countries, covering 93% of global human population. And before we end, I would like you to understand that the giants start to shrink when the humans start to grow. I would like to thank you all for your time because you share with me the most valuable asset of your life. And Industry 5.0 prevent wasting of time to happen. Have a nice time, free of waste and wasting in all its forms. Stay safe, free, and be human. Thank you.